Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani and welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism. It's my hope that this content helps clear you out of all the confusion that is narcissism and narcissistic abuse and helps you better understand this so you can get on your path to coping, healing, and recovery. We're picking up again with this series on the excuses that narcissists make for their behavior. As we know, part of the reason they get away with it is they make up pretty good justifications. And the bigger problem is that we fall for it. So how many of you have ever had a narcissistic person come up to you and say, oh gosh, really? I'm just speaking my truth. Now, if there is one thing that is emerging in terms of what we know about narcissists is that they feel very entitled to speak their truth and they use it as an excuse. They will ask people to sit with them and hear their truth. The problem is that they're not really that interested in other people's truth or if other people make the mistake of sharing their own truth with the narcissist, the narcissistic person will poke holes in the other person's truth and tell them, you have no right to feel that way. Truth tends to be a very, very one-way street for them. But this also becomes a major excuse for the mean things that narcissistic people say. They will feel deeply entitled to send you text messages, emails, to meet with you in person or to call you, and then sit there and say things that are actually really painful and unnecessarily awful and cruel, all under the guise of speaking their truth. Many, many people get played by this gambit. Healthy people want to honor honesty and openness and truthfulness in our relationships, and we recognize it can be painful. And so when the narcissist uses the excuse of just speaking their truth, people may believe they just have to roll up and take the punches from that truth-speaking narcissist. Sadly, people who often have to hear this excuse from narcissists will really actually try to hear the truth and even make the behavioral changes they need to make to accommodate that truth. I actually think that this excuse that narcissists used of I am just speaking my truth, is the prelude that results in the eggshell walking that is all narcissistic relationships. Because once that gets said, I'm speaking my truth, most people will listen to this truth and then make concerted attempts to modify their behavior in response to the narcissist's spoken truth. Inevitably, because the narcissist's so-called truth is often an unrealistic set or even distorted set of expectations, the person who is trying to accommodate to the narcissist will inevitably, as we do, make another misstep because we can't always be perfect every moment of every day. And then the narcissist will have to speak more angry truth. And then the person who is being subjected to the narcissist will have to make more adjustments. And then before you know it, you're basically walking on the equivalent of eggshells mixed with ground glass because you are afraid to say or do anything before you are subjected to the tribunal of the narcissist's cruel truth yet again. The real challenge to even getting your head around this is the hypocrisy of it all. The narcissistic people out there feel entitled to speak their truth but others really aren't allowed to speak theirs or they're not safe if they do so. Remember, the narcissistic person is a much better manipulator, fighter, blamer, and gaslighter than you. So when you try to speak your truth, they will twist it, turn it against you, gaslight, and then we are right back to their truth again. They will also weaponize your truth and use it against you. So in general, as always, this is a one-way relationship. It's their truth all the time, which is why the narcissistic relationship is always such an unbalanced reality. You are basically living in their version of events, in their reality, in their distortions and delusions. And in order to stay in the relationship, you slowly give up your grip on your sanity and your reality. The narcissist feels entitled to saying 
and doing whatever they want. If that opportunity is not given to them, they will feel that somehow they are being unfairly blocked, that they are unheard, and that they're being punished. And as you can imagine, piles of rage will come from that. Sometimes people relent and just listen to the narcissist's truth just to shut them up. But sadly, because so much of the narcissistic person's truth is a projection with them blaming you for their shortcomings, their bad behavior, their deceit, and their cruelty, it's not really truth. It's their perception, and it's typically a highly persecutory perception. In essence, they are asking you to sit and listen to their distorted version of the events that typically involve you being the bad guy and them being the victim. It is exhausting. And frankly, this raises a bigger question of exactly what is truth. And that opens up a philosophical discussion that I leave to the philosophers. Cruelty has no place in human discussions. There are ways to say difficult things without treading on another person's vulnerability, without harming the things or the people that matter to them, and to do it in a way ref that reflects a subjective experience of vulnerability without heaping harm on another person. For a narcissistic person, as always, they are simply looking for an excuse to blame, shame, harm, insult, berate, and otherwise abuse another person. And so they call it just speaking their truth. If it's harmful, it's harmful. And yes, there are times in relationships when things are being discussed that are being discussed will hurt you. To those of you on the receiving end of a narcissist's so-called truth, here's some guidance. If they want to heap the truth on you with a major side helping of blame, shame, degradation, and hurt, then it's on you. Be prepared to listen to their truth. But also give equal, equal weight to their harm. Perhaps learn from the truth and take the harm that you incurred as a massive red flag to set a boundary or step away for good. This person has now shown what they are capable, capable of in the name of the truth, and it becomes a sign to hear their truth and then acknowledge, okay, I've heard your truth, and now it's time to go. Bye. Self-righteousness is a major element of narcissism that often gets overlooked. We tend to see it in the most pronounced way in communal narcissists, but really it cuts across all types. This sense for all narcissistic folks that they are somehow morally superior, live in a more honorable manner, and they often walk around viewing themselves as deeply authentic, honest, and open-minded people. Thus, all of those excuses they make about speaking their truth. This self-righteous stance is often a tool of domination and shame designed to infuse others with a sense of self-doubt and self-blame. And it allows the narcissist to occupy a full-time bully pulpit. And it all fits in with their zeal for sharing the truth and using it as a weapon against other people. I am a firm believer that truth can be spoken without abuse. And when that cannot happen, it's no longer about the truth. It's about the abuse. And when that happens, start looking for the boundaries and the exits. So when that's a great excuse they've got. I'm just speaking my truth. And what that is meant to do is cut off any ability you have to express a real feeling about it. I feel hurt. Well, then you're too sensitive because that's just my truth. Truth that hurts isn't truth. It's abuse. Thanks again.